time of year where everyone puts on an enormous coat and pretends that fashion isn't a thing. It's very easy to make an excuse for the way you dress when it's minus five degrees outside or minus 20 degrees outside in some parts of the world or more. It gets very cold anyway. <laughs> it's very easy to just put on a coat, put on a jumper, not feel very confident in yourself, walk out the door and come home and feel really unglamorous and really not feel like yourself. But just kind of pray for the spring to come. I know that I do this, it's really easy to do, but after hearing the tips I have today, this should be a thing of the past for you. Uh, it might fit. It might. My name is Ellie Jean, I'm a personal stylist, and on this channel we use body types to elevate our personal style and end the war with our wardrobes. So if you're unfamiliar with this concept, Kibby Body Types is a system developed by a man called David Kibbe. David Kibbe kind of developed this theory in the 80s of yin and yang balance and dressing for 10 different body types based on your sharp, soft, large, small, strong, delicate influences in your body, basically echoing the sharp or soft balance in your body with your clothing. If you want to know the differences between the body types, I definitely recommend checking out this video, which is my detailed breakdown of the 10 body types. And if you want my opinion on your body type, make sure to head to bodyandstyle.com forward slash services. So dramatics, as we know, dramatics are the most yang. They are long and sharp. Some things that I would recommend for dramatics in the winter is structured jackets. So if you're not gonna wear a long coat, which is also a recommendation, make sure your jackets are really structured, really fitted, really kind of straight, kind of that quality, strong fabric. Long coats, monochrome looks amazing on dramatics because it's that long unbroken line. If you're gonna wear a pattern, a geometric pattern is going to look so good because it honors the sharpness in your bone structure. High necklines can look really, really good on dramatics because it adds sharpness very close to your face. Long unbroken lines in general. So soft dramatics dominant features are vertical and curve. So they're very long, but soft. So obviously this is how we want to echo that. So some things that I recommend are of course, waist definition and long lines, but also this could include like large draped cardigans um, with a slightly heavy fabric, big furs. I mean, absolutely take advantage of winter to bring out that glamour that's in your body type and wear large furs. It would look amazing and also just large glamorous details in general. Large draped cardigans and jumpers, jumpers which have a very soft draped material and pet Peplum waists can look really good on soft dramatics as well. So like the kind of peplum coats, because they're kind of large and but with waist definition, they're gonna look really great. Flamboyant Naturals dominant features are width and vertical. So we want things which are going to accommodate that width and also the long vertical line. Chunky knits in general, amazing on flamboyant naturals. Those really big necklines look super chic if you have that kind of blunt bone structure. Oversized jackets and coats. I mean, really, winter is a flamboyant naturals playground. It really, really is. Because you can just keep layering and layering and layering and you still look chic. Me in layers, I just look like swamped. <laughs> I look ridiculous. Whereas a flamboyant natural just looks so damn chic in so many layers. Heavy fabrics like leather and denim are gonna look amazing. Big layers, big chunky scarves, chunky boots. Really, you can't go wrong. Soft naturals, dominant features are width and curve. So a lot of what I just said will resonate for soft natural as well, except the fabrics are slightly less heavy and more soft and rounded. So soft fabrics, Ponchos can look really good on soft dramatics. Off the shoulder or one shoulder knits can look really good. Obviously a difficult one to wear outside, but if you're inside, they can look really, really chic on you because they're kind of draped and they're also slightly feminine. Gonna look amazing. Oversized, but slightly moderate to short length cardigan where a flamboyant natural can wear really long cardigans, really long styles. Soft naturals want to keep things more of a moderate to short length. Soft fabrics, fluff, fur, shacket kind of material looks really great, or like teddy bear material is perfect for a soft natural because it's not overly soft like you'd want for a soft dramatic or a romantic. Like fur can be really great, but that kind of fluffy, sheep, woolly kind of fabric is even better because it honors that natural bone structure. Draped coats, draping is amazing on natural types and of course waist definition as well. Puffer coats can also look really good on soft naturals because they honor that width, but also soft and rounded. 
Now classics, winter can be quite tricky because for classics you want things to be very simple, minimal, timeless and often the details of winter clothing is, is kind of rough textures, layering, big oversized and this tends to conflict with us. So what you're looking for is as a dramatic classic, I'm a soft classic, by the way, for those of you who are new. For dramatic classic, you want simple high necklines. So those huge chunky turtlenecks I was talking about before for a flamboyant natural might overwhelm you, but little simple turtlenecks are gonna look really good. Straight structured jackets, not too long, not too short. Minimal detail, of course, straight lines, simple layers. Same goes for soft classics. Minimal detail is super important. So if you're gonna be wearing lots of layers, for example, because it's really, really cold, make sure there's not too many patterns or different types of colors. The simpler, the better. Soft cardigans and knitwear, for sure. Wrap tops or wrap cardigans can be really, really great way to add that kind of waist definition without wearing like a crop top or something like that. Something for yin types in general is yin underlayers. So just having like a peak of lace or, or ruffles or something like that, peeping underneath like more uh, plain or structured over the top, over the like over layer? I don't know, how, like, why can't I think of the correct way to phrase this? Like a layer that you put over the top. It's just a way to add softness near your face. Soft scarves near your face. So if you're wearing like quite a structured outfit, adding softness right around your face with a scarf is a great way to go. And something that I've noticed that a lot of, that looks really good on soft classics, is kind of mixing more structured coats with skirts and softer cardigans with trousers to kind of maintain that balance. Flamboyant gamines, again, can have quite a lot of fun in winter. They're gonna look their most elegant in more boxy jackets, so kind of squarish shapes. They can wear longer ones as long as they have that really stiff structure and they're quite compact. Really good in quirky details in general. So for example, if you look at Lara Adkins, she's a really quirky flamboyant gamine and you can see she wears a lot of Afghan coats. That is really cool. <laughs> Lots of patterns, contrasts in color is really great. So you know how I was saying for classics, maybe don't have too many colors, go the complete opposite way if you're a gamine. Lots and lots of different colors with your layers is going to make you really pop. Tight, compact layers, so nothing too oversized, sprawling, draped, much more cinched, boxy shapes. Also high necks and collars, perfect way to layer as a flamboyant gamine. Soft gamines I found quite hard, actually. Basically all of the photos that you've seen in this are from my database So you might recognize one or two of these photos if you've had a package from me These are literally photos that I kind of send out as inspiration And I found that I didn't have that many winter ones for soft gamine. It's quite a tricky one But one of the things I some of the patterns I noticed was definitely waist emphasis of course High necklines again like for flamboyant gamines because it adds that it honors that sharp undercurrent Soft yet boxy coats and what do I mean by this? If you want inspiration as a soft gamine, I really, really recommend looking up Mary Margaret from Once Upon a Time. <laughs> she dresses in the most amazing soft gamine styles. Her kind of pea coats are exactly what should, you should be looking for as a soft gamine because as you can see, they're quite compact, but also a lot of the details are very rounded and that is exactly what you want. Lots of sharp, little shapes, pattern scarves near the face. You know how I was talking about softness earlier, adding kind of patterns here, but with that soft fabric, great thing for soft gamines. Lots of patterns, lots of different contrasting colors. Again, A-line skirts are just perfect for soft gamines. Those little flared skirts, if you can wear those with chunky tights, you've just nailed winter. <laughs> you've nailed winter for your body type. So the actual romantics. Now romantics, for sure, find winter the hardest because winter fabrics are thick, they're often structured, they're often quite tailored, they're often oversized, I can't remember if I said that, and all of this doesn't really work for romantic types. So let's step back a little bit and just focus on your lines. If you're looking for trouser shapes, you want this kind of harem pant shape. Now usually we see harem pants in kind of summer, festival kind of clothing, but look for that shape in slightly thicker fabrics. Fabrics like velvet is gonna be really great if you want a more like evening look. Obviously that's not that practical for during the day. But that kind of cinch at the waist, cinch at the ankles, but more flowing and round around the leg is perfect for your theatrical romantic. Glamorous details like fur, a lot of what I said for soft dramatic will apply to the romantic types, but obviously a more petite, small version. So glamorous details like fur, try and get some jewels in wherever you can. Jewels are made for theatrical romantics because they're sharp, but very yin. Waist emphasis, absolutely. 
Sometimes short capes or short round jackets, short capes can look really glamorous specifically on theatrical romantics, if not short round jackets like bomber jacket styles because again they've got that kind of cinchedness at the edges but then round in the middle. Um, and again, lace as a layer underneath is gonna work so well, specifically kind of sharper lace for theatrical romantics, so it's yin but with that kind of sharp edge. So romantic, of course, just the most yin possible, like wrap cardigans, round and light layers, round soft fabric, fur, lean into the fur if you're a yin type. Whereas for theatrical romantics, I kind of see fur at the edges, so it could be like a fur cuff or a fur collar. Just round fur coats in general are great for romantics as long as they're not too long. If they end like above the hips, around the waist, it's gonna look so chic, really good on you. So waist emphasis, fur, ruffles. If you can get cardigans or jumpers with lots of ruffles, that's gonna look really amazing. So I hope this has helped you figure out what you want to wear over the winter. Hopefully having a little understanding of this might even help you think of your, about your lines in general for your body type and help you go into the winter months feeling more confident. Now, if you want to embark upon a style journey and transform your style and feel more confident in what you wear, I really, really recommend downloading my eight week style transformation journey guide. It's linked in the description and I'll also put it in a comment below. It's dozens and dozens of pages of workbook, to basically loads of exercises to help you find your personal style and by the end of it you'll have a wardrobe that just works for you perfectly. If you've enjoyed this video I really think you will enjoy my playlist on body types. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you next time.